can almost taste the flavour of the FA Cup today on the only league ground in the county of Kent. Gillingham have big plans to capitalise on their catchment area, but today a temporary stand on the site of what will be an impressive new development means the capacity for this cup tie is 10,500, guaranteeing record receipts for the club. And Scottish striker Andy Thompson, who scored in three of the previous four rounds of the cup, hopes to propel this nationwide team into the quarter-finals for what would be the first time in their history. Manager Peter Taylor relies on the 4-5-1 formation that overcame Premiership Bradford in the last round. Goalkeeper Vince Bartram and number six Guy Butters had first-team experience with Arsenal and Spurs respectively, while number 14 Marcus Browning is starting his first game for 14 months after a cruciate ligament injury. It was only this morning that Wednesday passed Gilles de Bilderfit to partner Gerald Sibon up front. Three of their back four actually played here when Wednesday beat Gillingham in the FA Cup five years ago. And the other one, Andy Hinchcliffe, is the only man on the pitch with an FA Cup winner's medal. Well, Peter Taylor took over at the start of the season at Gillingham after losing his England under-21 post. A job that he was originally given by Glenn Hoddle, the new manager of Southampton, who's in the stand today. Hoddle, who scored the winning goal in the FA Cup final for last year, that the match of the day cameras were at Gillingham by coincidence. Nice moment there between the two managers, who know each other pretty well. Mike Reid of Birmingham starts this Axel-sponsored FA Cup tie with Sheffield Wednesday in their chain strip, all yellow, defending the goal to the right, behind which their supporters are congregated. That's Sibon, number nine. And Gillingham's number three, Road Edge. There's a very high wind blowing around the ground, which might make conditions difficult. But uh, Gillingham will be keen to make a bold start here, the underdogs. This is Vim Yonk. Just got a feeling that uh, Paul Smith, the Gillingham captain and number four, may be detailed to uh, pick up Vim Yonk. Certainly enough swerving in the wind a bit to trouble the goalkeeper. Atherton is forward for the corner. Sibon is on the line. And Sibon gets up here. Gillingham had everybody back. Hinchcliffe, free kick against him. Starts the celebrations for Sheffield Wednesday and the Premiership side are in the lead. A bit of a scrappy goal, in fairness, but it was really the wind that affected the kick in the first place. And here's De Builder, whose effort certainly comes off a Gillingham player, butters initially. Bartram can't handle it, in fact he spilt it. And Sibon, perhaps slightly with the help of Pennock. Well, I think two Gillingham players got a touch and Pennock was certainly the last one, but Sibon was the Sheffield player. Southall. Here's Hodge. Oh, he turned inside beautifully. And Cernicek has to make the save. And here's Alexanderson. And now Yonk. And now Nolan. Sibon. Now Hodge. Marcus Browning, who hasn't started a match for over a year, has done really well to get through uh, an hour today. He goes off and he's going to be replaced by number 15, Mark Saunders. Well played by Pennock.
Now it's Alexanderson. Three up with him. Simon. Yonk. Vim Yonk shot. Saved by Bartram, but here comes the build up. Oh, it needed Pennock to clear it. There's Saunders now, battling with Atherton. There's Walker waiting for the bounce. Sibon. And that's broken for Thompson. In the centre, Saunders here. Jumps for Gillingham. Oh, he's got it! The substitute has done it! Mark Saunders has equalised for Gillingham. Only a few minutes after coming on, his first significant contribution has brought them level in the cup tie. Peter Taylor's team benefiting from a good spell, but it's the substitute that does the trick. Good early ball in, and Saunders turns here against Nolan, and he really places that beyond the dive of Cernicek. And Gillingham are level after 69 minutes. Well, now we have got a cup tie down in Kent. And you have to say that on Gillingham's second half performance, the equaliser was deserved. Mark Saunders, what a moment for him. One he'll never forget. And how well he took it here. Nolan tries to get to him, but that shot it's just agonisingly away from Cernicek's right hand. But uh, full marks to uh, Thompson in the build-up. And 1-1 one, one here. Free kick to Gillingham. And Saunders is there again, so is Butters. And all right, and Hannah's back in, and it's there! And it's Thompson! It's Thompson this time! And Gillingham scored twice in two minutes! What a turnaround! Sheffield Wednesday don't know what's hit them, but it's Andy Thompson, the cup hero again for Gillingham. Would you believe it? Guy Butters with the free kick, and this is where the practice on the training ground pays off. Pennock gets the header in, and Thompson the second header. Yonk. Oh, handball. Handball, Smith. And suddenly, the scene shifts to the other end. Sheffield Wednesday with a free kick. Now, Vim Yonk would, from this central position, Hinchcliffe takes it instead. Oh, goalkeeper stopped it and saved it. Oh, Nolan had the chance from the rebound and perhaps should have scored. That's Southall! Nicky Southall has made it 3-1 with one of the best goals you'll see in the FA Cup. And two Gillingham players are flat out, never mind those celebrating, there are two men flat out on the halfway line. But look at this from Nicky Southall. It's a wonderful volley and Cernicek never got off the ground. Never mind, got near it. It's 3-1 to Gillingham. And surely now they're in the sixth round for the first time ever. What a wonderful shot from Nicky Southall. And again, Peter Taylor's substitution <laughs> has an immediate effect. I don't think he can believe this. It's the first time ever that this Kent club have been to the quarterfinals of the FA Cup. And what dramatic circumstances. Peter Taylor, sportingly congratulated by Danny Wilson, who must be crestfallen. Gillingham were one down with 69 minutes gone. But then, two goals in two minutes, and Nicky Southall produced the third and the clincher after 81 minutes to send this crowd into a huge celebration. Thompson, who got the second goal, and has scored in four rounds out the five.